They were finally checking out Pick 4 by Arca. I think I got really burnt out of of, uh, of Arca's sound. Well, it's been a while since I've checked out um, another Arca album. I want to be completely real. If this if I don't like this album, I don't know if I'll check out Kick 5. I don't know. Like, it's been too long, you know? It's been too long. If I don't like Kick 4, I probably won't check out Kick 5. Which sucks because I really like to, like, complete album, like, series. I love to complete album series. Going back, like, reevaluating her old albums, I really like Kick 2. Kick 2 is my favorite, uh, for sure, out of all of her Kick albums. Out of all of her albums, period. Like, I think Kick 2 is my favorite, for sure. I'll see this video uncut. It'll be on Patreon below. Link in bio. Do it. Let's jump right in. Okay, we'll start. Bloodless for beauty. Can you tell out? What are you doing? We're gonna start with that. Very uh very cryptic. When she said when she said um everything she had was right there inside of her, I imagined like alien because like there's a song called Xenomorph Girl and also Alien Inside. So I, I imagine like the alien, like maybe maybe there's an alien inside of her or something. That's like what I was imagining. Interesting though, I think I think I think Arca doesn't miss production wise. Like she's like crazy uh, at production. Suna. Oh, that felt simple for a uh, for like an instrumental track. Not simple, but just like cool. I don't know, just very cool. Xenomorph girl. The song felt longer than it actually was, which is kind of weird. It felt like like a five minute song. I love how like pulsating her voice was. Like I love the back and forth. Like very, it felt like it was pulsating. I don't know. It was, it was so out of this world, man. That was cool. Very cool. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Queer with planning to rock. <laughs> That was cool as hell. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Was that planning to rock or Arca? I think that was planning to rock. That didn't sound like Arca at all to me. That didn't sound like Arca at all. I like how like versatile Arca's voice can get because like sometimes I just can't be telling if it's her or not. You know, changes her voice up so much. Um, I love this. This is cool. Like everything with the song was great. Honestly, I love. I love the. It felt grand. It felt so grand. I don't know. I, I love how like almost overwhelming I got. I don't know. And I like the vocals a lot too. The vocals match the beat perfectly. Great song. She's so seductive. Alvin and, the, Alvin and the Chipmunks. I think the echoey thing at the end was cool. The echoey thing at the end was interesting, but like I low key couldn't wait for that song to end. I don't like how I didn't like how repetitive it was. I don't like how repetitive it was. It just it was just like mind numbingly like just okay, we'll make a stop kind of thing. That's like the feeling I had for that song. Asia, I'm so sorry. I probably butchered that. <laughs> I think the instrumental of that song was cool. The instrumental was really cool. I, I like the twangy, like, down, 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 that kind of stuff. 
That was interesting, but man overall, man overall in that song, I feel like oh oh god, oh we loa. great that was great i missed that whoops is that one take or heard like a voice in the background i think it's argus voice like laughing or something um i like that i like that a lot i uh i got lost in that song just like uh i think it was xenomorph girl completely lost completely lost in that song that was great um, I, I like how it followed the echoey like outro um trend as well uh some other songs have that um this is cool i think i think i i think i do i think i do prefer this kind of arca this style of arca over like the crazy like the crazy arca you know this is cool. This is like, this is bearable. Like, I'm really digging this right now. I'm digging this. Alien inside. Uh -huh. I feel like I was in like Star Trek listening to that or something, or like Star Trek or Star Wars or so Star Wars or something. Is, it, is she talking about like her experience being trans? I feel like there's an alien inside of her. I just realized that. I think, but an abstract construct, your vanity or your sanctuary. Like this is like a nod towards like her experience being trans. Interesting. Cool. I like the song. It's cool. Alter. <laughs> I had no words for that. I'm just like kind of zoned out to that one. You know, none of these songs have been like horrible. Like a lot of hit or miss. A lot of, a lot of like a lot of hit or like a lot of hit or like mid. I feel like um that one's like that one's cool. Like just like all right. I feel like that was like witch where I just like couldn't wait to be over. To be honest, the production carried the production made it interesting. The production didn't make it unbearable. The lost woman found. <laughs> the message to the song the production is great like grand as fuck loud as fuck like really just like abrasive but like i don't know i just had a, a weird gripe with that song i think i just got burned out i think i just got burned out of it after a while production like arca is a like, go at production i think some songs are just not for me paw <laughs>
Why did I low-key like that? Why did I- why did I- why did I low-key like that? Even though the meaning was pretty crazy, talking about like walking a boy, walking a guy, like a- like a dog. I look- I look fuck with it. I look fuck with the song, you know? I don't fuck with like- I'm not- I'm not trying to get walked by like a dog, but like I fuck with the song, you know? I like the reverb a lot. That's one thing with the song I like a lot. I like the reverb. I love the reverb on that song. Like, I love, like, I, I'm a huge fan of reverb, so I love her vocal effects, I love the reverb, I love just, like, I don't know, it's cool. I like how, I like how, like, vocal, vocal, like, focused this album, or this song was. Crazy meaning, crazy ending, but, like, hey, I fuck with how, I fuck with how it sounds, you know? Um, yeah, I can't lie. Arca, Kick 4. Um, uh, I think that, I think this album's up there for, like, the better kicks. Uh, I'd say it's probably up to par with Kick 2. Like, I, I can see myself going back to a lot of songs in here. I do think the highlights are the ambient songs, like Asuna, Xenom of, Xenom of Girl, Queer, Oh, oh I forgot how to pronounce it, Track 7. I like Pa, too. That was a good song, too. Yeah, no, I, I think I think overall, it does, it does, like, continue the hit or miss kind of, like, trend of the Kick series. But I do, I think I think the highlights are the uh, ambient songs. I, like, really enjoy the ambient songs. I can't lie. I thought it was going to be worse. But it wasn't, you know? It was uh, it was actually tolerable. But uh, yeah, I just leave it there.